Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Mall, and today I'm going to, this is the first video in a series of stoichiometry example problems. And the first kind we're going to do is a problem going from moles to moles. So in these types of problem, uh, the first thing we have to do following those guidelines I gave you is we need to write and balance the equation for what the reaction we're talking about. So I'm going to look at this reaction, and first I need a written and balanced equation. So it says how many moles of Cl2 will be required to react with 10 moles of sodium. So react with Cl2. We go ahead and write a reactant. Reacts with sodium, Na. So I have an element plus an element. Okay. I need to first off identify what kind of reaction it is. So this is an element plus an element. This is a synthesis reaction. So these are going to combine together. Now when Na gets with Cl, a metal and a non-metal, we're talking ionic compound. And whenever I'm talking about ionic compounds, we must worry about the charges that those elements take when they, when they uh, pair up with, with another non-metal or metal. So Na is a plus 1, Cl is a minus 1. So these guys will combine in a 1 to 1 ratio, always. So I predicted my product, NaCl. Uh, once I've written my equation, now I need to balance it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 2 out in front here. And that's going to give me enough CLs, and that ups my Na to 2. And now I'm going to put a 1 out in front here. So what's going to be really important is to take note of these coefficients, because these are the big deal when we're dealing with psychiatry problems. So now I have my balanced equation. The step, second step says, determine your known and unknown quantities. So the question says, how many? question mark. We don't know. So we're going to solve for. So I'm going to write underneath my CL2, I'm going to write question mark moles. Okay, I don't know how many moles. I'm looking for that. Will be required to react with 10 moles of sodium. 10 moles sodium. I'm underlining this. I know what this is. I know I have 10 moles of sodium. So I'm going to write 10 moles underneath of my starting quantity. So what I need to do now is I need to do a conversion problem where I'm going from 10 moles of sodium to some number of moles of chlorine. And so what I can do for a mole to mole is we can always relate moles to moles using the mole to mole ratio of the balanced equation. So I'm going to go ahead and start out every problem with my starting quantity, Okay, the thing that was given to me. 10 moles Na, my starting quantity. I'm going to put that over 1, and I'll put a little bubble. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back at my balanced equation and look at the equivalent statements or the conversion factors I can pull from that recipe for this reaction. So to get from moles of Na, I want to get to moles of Cl2. So I need to get to moles of Cl2, and I need to convert out of moles of Na. So the key thing here is when I write this ratio, I usually write the units first. So I look at my units, moles of Na must cancel, with my, and leaving moles of uh, chlorine on the top. Now I'm going to look back at my recipe to figure out, well, what is the relationship between chlorine and sodium? So in my recipe here, this is a 2 to 1 ratio. I, need, I have one of these, and for every one of those, it costs me two of these. So once I've pulled out my mole to mole ratio from the balanced equation. Now it's business as usual. Multiply across the top, divide across the bottom. 10 times 1 divided by 2 gives me 5, and the unit left standing is moles of Cl2. There's my final answer. That's how many moles uh, it cost me to make. Next question says, how many moles of sodium chloride will be produced? So now I have a new unknown, question mark, moles sodium chloride, I have a separate problem here. So I'm going to want to go from t my 10 moles here to moles of NaCl. I'm going to need to do the same thing I just did. Whenever I'm going from mole to mole, we're going to use the mole to mole ratio. So I take my starting quantity, same starting quantity, moles Na, and I'm going to look up a new recipe. My recipe, I want to get rid of moles of Na. I want to get to now moles of NaCl. And now I'm going to look back at my uh, equation and figure out what the relationship is. So I see that for every 2 moles of NaCl that I produce, it costs me 
two moles uh, of, of sodium. So when I, you do my dimensional analysis, my units canceled, we're actually end up multiplying by one. I can make 10 moles of NaCl. I'll answer. Now, an interesting thing to note here is that you could go backwards because this is all the same recipe. And if I said, okay, well, 10 moles of NaCl, what if I wanted to go a different way? Um, I could use this Cl2 if I wanted to, just to prove to you that this will work, how consistent everything is. Take that 5 moles of Cl2, and I could convert that to, well, there's 2 moles of NaCl. For every, in my recipe here, I, it cost me 1 mole of Cl2. Now, this is a different way to solve the problem, but we're all talking about the same thing. I mean, that 5 moles of Cl came from the 10. So if I multiply that out, I get 10 moles of NaCl. And there you go, same answer. So any way that you want to do that. All right, this is the first part of this video series. And now, after watching this video, you'll be ready to do question one from the homework. Okay, good luck.